made a covenant with my chosen, even my servant, my word. I have made your name to last forever, built to outlast all time. I will celebrate your love for your Yahweh, a journey my words proclaim your love. For I claim that love is built last forever, founded fame your faithfulness. Yahweh, that assembly of those who love you, applaud your marvelous work. Who in the skies compare with Yahweh? Who can rival him? I will celebrate your love for your Yahweh. A journey, my voice proclaim your love. For I claim that love is built last forever. Founded firm your faithfulness. Archdiocese is of Hyderabad, Gun Foundry Parish. This mass is open for the Vivani TV Corpus Fund donor, Madhila Agnes, and family members. For the departed soul of Madhila Peter and for the departed souls of Madhila Arulappa, Mariamma, Anna Mary, Varakhala Joseph, Madhila Aruna, Bai, Madhila Anil, Mary, Irene, Dharan, Akila, Aaron Samuel, Diana Grace. Today's Rosary Divine Mercy Chaplet, Word of God. Holy hour are also offered for this family and their intentions. Archdiocese of Vishakapatnam, Bucchirajupalim Parish. Thanksgiving Mass on the occasion of Ritvika. May God bless her with good health and abundance. Offered by Tadi Elizabeth, Tadi Francis Anthony, Swarnalata, Ravi, Mahima, Kiran, Prashanti, Ethan, fam, Emily, Teresa, Wagayasi, and family members. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Love and live the Eucharist we celebrate. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, we celebrate the Monday Thursday, the celebration of the Lord's Supper. Therefore, today is the day of love, the day of Eucharist. And the day of the priesthood. Jesus has instituted both the Eucharist and priesthood so that he can perpetuate his presence and his love in the world and for the world. And we have to become the instruments of his love in the world. Therefore, as we participate in the Eucharist, we have to become the Eucharist for the others. Such is the gift and such is the responsibility <coughs> we receive today. As we celebrate this great feast, let us prepare ourselves so that we purify our soul in order to worthily celebrate these mysteries. We ask God's pardon and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, 
and bring us to our lasting life amen lord have mercy lord have mercy christ have mercy christ have mercy lord have mercy lord have mercy to participate in this most sacred supper in which your only begotten son when about to hand himself over to death entrusted to church a sacrifice new for all eternity the banquet of his love grant we pray that we may draw from so great a mystery the fullness of charity and of life through our lord jesus christ your son who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit god forever and ever amen the law for the passover meal first reading a reading from the book of exodus chapter 12 verse 1 to 8 and 11 to 14 in those days The Lord said to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt This month shall be for you the beginning of months It shall be the first month of the year for you Tell all the congregation of Israel that on the 10th day of this month every man shall take a lamb according to their fathers houses a lamb for a household and if the household is too small for a lamb then he and his nearest neighbor shall take according to the number of persons according to what each can eat you shall make your ca- count for the lamb 
Your lamb shall be without blemish, a male, a year old. You may take it from the sheep or from the goats, and you shall keep it until the fourteenth day of this month, when the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill their lambs at twilight. Then they shall take some of the blood and put it on the two doorposts and the lintel of the houses in which they eat it. They shall eat the flesh that night roasted on the fire with unleavened bread and bitter herbs they shall eat it. In this manner you shall eat it. With your belt fastened, your sandals on your feet, and your staff in your hand. And you shall eat it in haste. It is the Lord's Passover. For I will pass through the land of Egypt that night, and I will strike all the firstborn in the land of Egypt, both man and beast. And on all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgments. And on all the gods of Egypt, I will execute judgments. I am the Lord. The blood shall be a sign for you on the houses where you are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you, and no plague will befall you to destroy you when I strike the land of Egypt. This day shall be for you a memorial day, and you shall keep it as a feast to the Lord throughout your generations. As a statue forever, you shall keep it as a feast. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, your response shall be, The cup of blessing is, the cup of blessing is a participation in the blood of Christ. A participation in the blood of Christ. How can I repay the Lord for all his goodness to me? The cup of salvation I will arise. I will call on the name of the Lord. Your response. The cup of blessing is the cup of blessing is a participation in the blood of Christ. A participation in the blood of Christ. How precious is the eyes of the Lord, in is the death of his faithful. Your servant am I, the son of your handmaid. You have loosened my bones. Your response, the cup of blessing is, the cup of blessing is, a participation in the blood of Christ. A participation in the blood of Christ. A thanksgiving sacrifice I make. I will call on the name of the Lord. My vows to the Lord I will fulfill before all his people. Your response, the cup of blessing is, the cup of blessing is, a participation in the blood of Christ. A participation in the blood of Christ. As often as you eat this bread and drink the chalice, you proclaim the Lord's death. Second reading, a reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Chapter 11, verses from 23 to 26. Brethren, I received from the Lord what I also delivered to you, that the Lord Jesus on the night when he was betrayed took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way also he took the chalice after supper, saying, The chalice is the new covenant in my blood. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink the chalice, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Oh, 
has spoken to his people alleluia and his words are words of wisdom alleluia god has spoken to his people alleluia and his words are words of wisdom alleluia open your ears o christian people open your ears and hear good news open your heart to royal priesthood god has come to you god has spoken to his people alleluia and his words are words of wisdom alleluia The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Saint John. Glory to you, you O Lord. Gospel of Saint John chapter 13 verses 1 to 15. Before the feast of the Passover, when Jesus knew that his hour had come, to depart out of this world to the father having loved his own who were in the world he loved them to the end during supper when the devil had already put it into the heart of judas iscariot simon's son to betray him jesus knowing that the father had given all things into his hands and that he had come from god and was going back to god rose from supper he laid aside his outer garments and taking a towel tied it round his waist then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples feet and to wipe them with the towel that was wrapped round him He came to Simon Peter who said to him Lord do you wash my feet Jesus answered him What I am doing you do not understand now but afterwards you will understand Peter said to him You shall never wash my feet Jesus answered him If I do not wash you you have no share with me Simon Peter said to him Lord not my feet only but also my hands and my head Jesus said to him The one who has bathed does not need to wash except for his feet but he is completely clean and you are clean but not every one of you for he knew who was to betray him that was why he said not all of you are clean when he had washed their feet and put on his outer garments and resumed his place he said to them do you understand what i have done to you you call me teacher and lord and you are right for so i am if i then your lord and teacher have washed your feet you also ought to wash one another's feet for i have given you an example that you also should do just as i have done to you gospel of the lord praise to your lord jesus christ love and live the eucharist you celebrate Dear brothers and sisters in Christ today we celebrate the great feast of the Monday Thursday the entrance into the triduum 
the triduvum is the passion the death and resurrection of jesus is called the paschal mystery because through this god's love is made known to the world and the humanity is made accessible to the salvation therefore all the preparation we have done until now the 40 years of the 40 days of our preparations of lent the 40 day journey of our fasting prayer alms giving the way of the cross the mass and the adoration and all the liturgical celebrations have brought us to this day the day of love the day of eucharist the day of the priesthood and the day of our salvation therefore with all the devotion and faith we enter into the triduvum of the paschal mystery the occasion of our salvation as we enter into the deeper meaning of today's readings and today's feast we understand three things about the eucharist first the eucharist is the mystery of love second the eucharist is the manifestation of love third the eucharist is the mission of love therefore eucharist becomes the mystery the manifestation and the mission how let us uh, meditate upon these three important points the first one eucharist is the mystery of love jesus knows that is our has come the hour of glorification the hour of passion hour of kenosis hour of self sacrifice hour of service and therefore hour of love if you want to understand the mystery of love we have to come to the eucharist because in the eucharist we see how the entire life of jesus and his love for the father is expressed the word made flesh in the incarnation and now the flesh made the eucharist in the paschal mystery john 3:16 we read god so loved the world that he sent his only son so that all those who believe in him will be redeemed and now we have the different manifestation the culmination of the incarnation the culmination of the paschal mystery that is dying on the cross and in death jesus has shown the power of love of god therefore he is obedient unto death on the cross we listen in the hymn of christ especially in the letter to the philippians chapter 2 verses 6 and 7 how he was obedient unto the death on the cross and here god and his love is made manifest through the love of christ through the passion of christ and through the death of christ therefore the mystery of love it is a mystery because we can't understand the human logic and human calculations and human knowledge and the human words will not be able to express what god's love is it goes beyond the human comprehension it goes beyond the philosophical logic it also goes beyond the theological exp- expressions because god's love is only manifested in the love of christ on the cross if you remove the cross from christ everything becomes void meaningless and worthless therefore the love of god as a mystery is given to us 
in the mystery of the cross in the mystery of the kenosis and the mystery of the eucharist because in eucharist the flesh is overtaken by the spirit in eucharist the mind the mind is overtaken by the heart in the eucharist the knowledge is overtaken by the will and finally in the eucharist the life is overtaken by the love therefore eucharist is the mystery of love second one eucharist is the manifestation of love the first reading the second reading and the gospel reading are full of meaning of love especially in the gospel reading we see how god so loved the father he wanted to go back immediately accomplishing his will by dying on the cross and that is the manifestation of love the manifestation of love of jesus has taken place in three things first in washing of the feet jesus has made his service to the disciples he bent down and touched the feet of the disciples and washed their feet this is the act of service the act of humility and the act of sacrifice and in washing the feet there are seven gestures that jesus manifests he gets up from the place where he is he takes off the outer garment he wears he takes a new garment the towel he wears it around his waist he takes the water and pours and washes the feet of the disciples and finally he wipes with a towel the feet in this way from the incarnation to the paschal mystery all those gestures of service or the gestures of salvation for the humanity and secondly the love is manifested in the priesthood jesus has established the priesthood in the last supper when he has commanded the disciples do this in my memory therefore he needs the agents he needs the mediators he needs the facilitators he needs the celebrants of the eucharist because the eucharist which was established by jesus has to be perpetuated it has to be celebrated all through the ages all through the times and for this celebration of the eucharist jesus has appointed and anointed as priest the disciples therefore the priesthood is a gift of god the priest becomes the mediator between god and humanity if that priesthood is not there who will bring down god from heaven onto the altar if that priesthood is not there who will take the sinner the humanity to the father in heaven by the reconciliation therefore the priesthood becomes a gift and a task and today we have to pray for every priest on one side we congratulate and pray and wish every priest on the other side we pray for the vocations and we pray for the priests and third manifestation of love is the eucharist where christ becomes from the human form to the eucharistic form he has made his presence forever in the world through the eucharist therefore he has not taken any external rams and bulls to celebrate the paschal mystery but he takes the bread and wine in the order of melchizedek the high priest and then he transforms this bread and wine into his body and blood so that we eat his body we drink his blood so that we have his life in us therefore eucharist becomes the manifestation of love and the third one the third point eucharist is the mission of love what is the mission of love when uh, uh, 
Leonardo da Vinci has uh, portrayed uh, the image of the Last Supper. He wanted to have a person, a figure, to draw the face of Jesus. And he searches for a person, finally finds, uh, by name called uh, uh, Pietro Bendinelli. He calls him and he makes him sit and he, with his face, he depicts the face of Jesus in the Last Supper. And then he also depicts the, 12, the 11 disciples. Finally, he wanted to have the image of Judas Iscariot. He was imagining so much, but he was not getting how his face would look like. He was searching for an apt person with the face of Judas. And in one point of time, he went into the prison to search for a right person. Finally, he finds one person and says, your face is very suitable, very much suitable for the face of Judas. Can I uh, draw your picture in the place of Judas Iscariot? And that person smilingly says, sir, do you remember when you wanted to draw the face of Jesus, you called me. I am the one. The same Pietro. Now he is in the jail. He becomes so shabby. Putting on the face of Judas. Which means in every person. There is the divinity of Jesus. There is also the fragility of Judas. And today. What a face you possess. What, what, do the, what is the face we have? Is it the face of Jesus? Therefore, showing the mercy, concern, love. Or is it the face of Judas showing the betrayal, selling Jesus for money? What, what, what do we have? Therefore, my dear friends in Christ, when we celebrate the Eucharist, we have a mission. We have to in turn become an Eucharist for the others, a bread of life for the others. Not only to participate in the Eucharist, but we have to fulfill the love of the Eucharist through our life. Therefore, let us love and live the Eucharist we celebrate. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. We offer our prayers and petitions to the Lord, God our loving Father. We thank you and praise you for the beautiful day, the day of love the day of Eucharist and the day of priesthood. Thank you for giving us your son as the culmination and the manifestation of your eternal love for the humanity. As we offer to you our prayers and petitions, grant them in the right season. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. God, loving Father, you have manifested you are loved through your son. And your son has chosen the church to be the agent of your love. Therefore, we pray for the church. We pray for the Pope, the priests, the religious, the entire Christian people. So that through our life, we manifest your love to the world. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. God, loving Father. We pray for the world, the world affected by the selfishness, by arrogance, by power and authority, by craving for self-advantage, by sickness and by corona and different kinds of malice. As we entrust to you this world, Fill the world with your love. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. God, loving Father, we pray for Divyavana TV channel, the gift of your love for our Telugu church. Bless everyone who is working for its growth to spread the fragrance of your word throughout the world. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. God, loving Father, we pray for our families. Grant the unity, the concern, 
and love in the families. Also, we offer to you the sick people in our families. Bless them, heal them, and show them your glory. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Let us pray. God of mercy and love, we praise and thank you for the gift of love you have manifested in the person and in the mission of Christ. Through him, we have become the mediators of your love and mercy. Help us to be so, so that by our testimony, we become truly the agents of your love. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father may the may Lord, Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the, for the praise, praise and, and glory of his, his name, name for our, for good, our good and good and of, good of all his holy church grant us O Lord we pray that we may participate worthily in these mysteries for whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We, we lift them up, up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he is the true and eternal priest who instituted the pattern of an everlasting sacrifice and was the first to offer himself as the saving victim, commanding us to make this offering as his memorial. As we eat his flesh that was sacrificed for us, we are made strong. And as we drink his blood that was poured out for us, we are washed clean. And so, with the angels and archangels, with the thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall. 
so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. <coughs> At the time he was betrayed and he entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Lord, by your cross and resurrection, you set us free, you set us free. You are the Savior of the world. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and bread of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Paul Antony, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by the divine teaching, we all dare to say, Our Father, uh, who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, thy, thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, give us this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, 
Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Jesus, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that, that you, you should, should enter, enter under, under my roof, roof but, but only say, say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Prayer of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come into my heart spiritually. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself to you wholly. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Almighty God, that just as we are renewed by the supper of your Son in this present age, so we may enjoy his banquet for all eternity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go and live in the Gospel of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, God. to God.
clean heart of God and renew a right spirit in me. Wash me, cleanse me, purify me, make my heart as white as snow. Create in me a clean heart of God and renew a right spirit in me. Oh God, and renew a right spirit in